today's Gospel of Matthew and referring to verse 16 in chapter 1, the Marian lineage of Jesus is outstanding because there is also an abnormality as per the previous verses. And the reason being is that Jesus did not come by the blood nor the will of the flesh, nor by the will of man, but of God. Mary conceived Jesus by the Holy Spirit coming upon her and the power of the Most High overshadowed her. Simply put, Isaiah 17, 14 explains, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God is amongst us. The last lineage lineage of the 42 lineages in Matthew's Gospel today is Mary as mother of whom Jesus is born, who is called Christ. The genealogy does not state the father of Jesus, yet the previous lineages do state the father of each lineage. Each has a son. Why the difference? And Joseph is the only man stated as husband in the total genealogy of Matthew. The other men are stated as fathers. Why is there a discrepancy? Why is Mary mentioned as the only woman to give birth when the other women, who are all mothers, are mentioned alongside the natural father? And why are the last three persons mentioned in the genealogy the names Jesus, Mary and Joseph? The answer. Joseph was not the natural father of Jesus. Mary, a virgin before, during and after the birth of Jesus. Jesus, Mary and Joseph were necessary for the new generation of life. God deemed it that way. Joseph himself did not know what his function was when he knew that Mary was pregnant with Jesus. And he identified that he was not necessary for this family, but it was revealed to him by divine revelation that he was to take Mary into his home into his heart and then into the house at Nazareth, which he did. God deemed Joseph necessary to be the spouse of the mother of the hypostatic union. As he also a virgin, he the protector of the mother of virgins. Mary is the new Eve, the mother of the living. Eve was of the dead and Adam lost holy life and paradise and was replaced by the new Adam, Jesus himself, to give divine life. Joseph was the husband and legal protector or guardian of Jesus. The holy family is the perfect family the Holy Trinity on earth, if you like. The family is the nucleus of society. The fruit of a good, chaste family generates life into the worldly society that came about by the destruction of paradise on earth through the sin of the first woman, Eve. And she was the cause of the sin of man, the sin of Adam. Now the heel of the woman of Genesis in 3.15 crushes sin and puts enmity between her offspring and the offspring of the serpent, Satan himself. And this woman is the ever-virgin Mary of Matthew 1.16, a daughter of the first Adam, but immaculately conceived, never to be touched by sin. Joseph had only the lineage of David. He also had the 
customary way in which lineage was determined was through the father. And Matthew depicts this. Mary has the human nature in the line of David and clothes the divinity of the Son of God in one person so the creation of time might be born in time and he whom all things were made might be brought forth in their midst. May St Joseph, the protector of the Holy Family, Protect the family of God this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.